Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Natural. We're going to look at blazers as foundational pieces to level up your looks and dope kits. I'm talking about injecting color, some furry objects, some bedazzled jewels to level up a basic jean to another look. Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Natural. Let's start by breaking down the deets of this look. This jacket I featured in a Zara haul. I'll link that here so you can actually see the different looks from that season. It's an oldie from last fall, but it's so good, friends. The tweed, the details is so luxurious. It gives Chanel vibes. This tweed, so lush and well done. I love the length. I love the details. I love the fit. I'm wearing a size large for reference. For me, it's all about the fit. I don't care about the sizing. I never have. It's all about, will I be able to get all the mileage out of the look by wearing it with other things in my closet? And when I size up, I'm able to wear it loose fit, more street style. If I wanted it a little bit more tailored, that's a quick fix with a tailor. You can even cinch it inside. There's not a lot of material. All it requires is that you pin it from the inside so the pin isn't showing on the back. The blazer seals the look. All I need to do is throw on a fanny pack or a bag and I'm good to go. This is easy dressing. A blazer, my friends, works magics for your looks. I have tons of them because they allow me to fast track a look like nothing else. Jeans, some nice sneakers with some fur pom-poms and the blazer seals the look. Friends, this blazer I've had for maybe seven years. It is just the right length, the right tailoring, and the right look. I love the tweed. I love the buttons. I even like the black and yellow threading throughout the pocket and on the seams of the jacket. It's one of those good blazers from Zara. A classic timeless chic white blazer. The details, the fit, the length, I love friends. The bag is also an oldie but goodie from Zara. I loved the tweed and the gold that comes through the threading and I really loved this end which was a little bit disheveled but done in a very tasteful way. I love the length of the crossbody. It hits me at the right place in the hip and I scored this for 10 bucks guys during sale. My go-to strategy I've shared many times. I literally share it all how I score them, my process. I'll link a video here so you can watch that video. If you follow the steps, you will score the items. I share it all in these videos, friends. This look really is done for me. I love it, friends. Now friends, let's talk about this beautiful African jacket. I love this. It's been a staple in my wardrobe for the last 
15, 16 years. I scored this vintage shopping, friends. It actually had a matching skirt that was a little too big for me and a turban. They sold them as separates. The jacket for me was that piece. I knew I could inject forever. That's the way I go vintage shopping. If it's a forever piece, it's coming home with me. This piece is magical. I love it. Do you guys see how beautiful the details and the color palette is? Ah, my heart skips a beat. It is a special piece, elevates a basic pair of jeans. When worn with a special pair of sneakers and a little quaint bag, looks like an outfit worth a million bucks. It's a perfect way to go shopping, to go to the farmer's market, or just enjoy the beautiful spring weather in New York City. Let me know your thoughts. This is another way to inject flavor using some vintage pieces that serve your personal aesthetic done right. This one will stand the test of time for me. I love this. Another blazer done well from Zara, friends. I actually featured it in a video last year. I'll link that here so you can see that video after this one. There's a ton of great looks in that. I love the length. I love the belt, the tweed, the buttons. Everything about this jacket is a perfect 10. The length, the way that it fits, and it levels up a basic denim like nothing else, friends. This is why blazers are my go-to. I utilize blazers to seal the look. It injects the right amount of color and style to a basic look and a foundational look. So keep all of your basic pieces, your foundational pieces, more streamlined, go to them, but inject flavor with the blazers, with your bags, your kicks, your shoes. Those are great opportunities to inject color. I love this look, friends. I would play around with adding color and making it pop. It's all about stepping outside of those comfort zones that we create for ourselves and playing. 